And welcome back to Hannity. So we're witnessing presidential parody paranoia at its finest. Now, it all started when a rodeo clown wearing a mask that looked like President Obama appeared at the Missouri State Fair and yelled this to the crowd. President Obama. Hey, I know I'm a clown. He just run around acting like one doesn't know he is one. <laughs> we got a smoke Obama, man. You ready? Obama, they're coming for you. I'm ready. This ball's going to get you, Obama. He's going to get you. He's in the mask. All right, not only has that clown landed himself and his fellow funny men in mandatory sensitivity training, but the NAACP is now calling for the federal government to get involved. Now, the group issued a statement which reads in part, quote, the activities at the Missouri State Fair targeting and inciting violence against our president are serious and warrant a full review by both the Secret Service and the Department of Justice. Really? This is how they, you want your government to spend your hard-earned taxpayer dollars investigating this? Now, the paranoia doesn't start, stop there. The Missouri Rodeo Cowboy Association president, he also resigned in the midst of this clown fallout. Here with reaction to the most controversial rodeo clown in the history of our country, author, columnist Eric Rush, Fox News contributor Jamu Green. Welcome, both of you. <laughs> Hi, Why are you laughing, Jamu? Because it's ridiculous. The NAACP is out of their dang mind to think that this should be investigated by the Department of Justice. Surprise, surprise. That, I think this is way overkill. It's, it's wrong that the president is, you know, receiving more than 400 um, percent an increase in threats than any other president. That's bad, Where'd but it was a bad joke. From? Do these people even... Where did you get that do, statistic from? The from? from the Secret Service. But do people even know what rodeo clowns do? I love the rodeo. I loved Rodeo Austin, first two weeks in Austin, March mm -hmm. of 2014. Rodeo clowns have to have nerves of steel. They have to have lightning reflexes. They have to have selfless devotion. So you know what? It's a joke. This rodeo clowns are, are the epitome of distraction, Sean. Well, hell is frozen we over here tonight on this? Hannity because this is the first time I think we've ever agreed. Uh, and let me, for the sake of our audience, let's, let's go back and take a look in history. You know, we got uh, Tricky Dick Nixon and his mask, and we've got, let's see, Reagan and his mask, and we've got Clinton, and we've got Bush 41. But look at that nose on Richard Nixon. I mean, that's a big nose. That's not exactly complimentary of Bush 41 there, but that's a mask that's well known and people would wear. And well, well, there you go again. There's Reagan, and of course we got the the. Well, I just want to say to all the hot chicks in the Hannity audience tonight, here is my number. Give me a call. Uh, so we got that one, and then of course we got. Hey, there's Bush 43. I, I mean, it's come on. This what we got. This is now that big a deal, Eric. Well. You know, here's the thing. E either we're going to be post-racial or we're not. Um, it, it is the biggest batch of race baiting bunk I've ever seen in terms of blowing it up to this extent and to have the NAACP demanding investigations and so forth. But you've got a few things going on here. One is the NAACP struggling to stay relevant. Two is the political left, which the NAACP has established that it is a part uh, their need to keep old wounds open, uh, promote hypersensitivity on the part of blacks. Then you have the left's deification of the anointed one. You know, you don't diss the beloved leader. We can't have that. So it's, that's, on, that's why they go Come over on. the this top with just, this. This isn't just and the left. Then, no, Look no, at hold what on the right did to the hold Dixie chicks. Second. Look at what the right uh, hold, did to the Dixie hold. chicks when they wanted to, like, smash their records is, because they no, said something bad about there's Bush. There's no comparison. Both sides are ridiculous. First, no one has okay, a monopoly okay, on Let, let me finish. Let me finish. Finish up, Eric, and then I got another question. Okay, sure. Um, there's, then you have the, um, the administration, which has got to, absolutely got to, do its level best to uh, manipulate the narrative, which it has been very adept at doing. We've seen this in a lot of different areas with the press and um, in some of these public things that have been going on to keep their, the attention away from these so-called uh, phony scandals, any of which would have ousted another president. So, you know, there are a lot of different things in play here. And I think although it, the issue itself on its face is preposterous, the rodeo clown. Right, let me on. bring up. There are some important things that go into this. Let me bring up some what I think is some hypocrisy here. Now, there are certain things that the administration through a spokesman did weigh in and condemn the rodeo clown. 
Um, the president himself got involved when he said the Cambridge police acted stupidly. My son would look like Trayvon. Now, we, he, he, why is it always selective? For example, we have a, a controversy going on in the country about this videotape of three black children, about 15, beating up, <laughs> pounding, eviscerating a 13-year-old kid who is white, pounding on him, beating him, kicking him. Uh, I haven't heard the president talk about this. And just like in the case, we have a, a Democratic mayor of San Diego, Jammu, who is now 14 women have come forward. Hasn't called any of the women that I know, but he did call Sandra Fluck. In that case, is this Filner is seems disgusting. like selective moral outrage, Filner no? Filner is disgusting. <laughs> Filner is disgusting. He should go. It's ridiculous. And the Democrats who have spoken out against him, thank God they have. But, Sean, this isn't something why that... Speak we, we Trayvon, why speak out about Trayvon? Why speak out about the rodeo clown, but the not the kid that's beaten up? The administration is responsible for this distraction. We are responsible for this distraction. You don't answer the my question. The administration responded to... President Obama responded to the Trayvon Martin case when it became the only thing that the, the media was the White talking House about. Gave a statement if that on the was the case clown. with this bus beating, I think the same thing would happen. I don't think the president cares about this rodeo clown, and I think that's well, the person who spoke the to the White House today was out. commenting because he's right, Eric, from you Missouri respond, and he thinks it reflects badly on his state. There's, but it's there's definitely there's definitely there's definitely hypocrisy going here. When it, when it plays well to the administration, they talk about it, to their agenda. When it doesn't, they don't. It's as simple as that. We right, are guys, feeding the beast. We Appreciate are feeding it. this beast a, a distraction.